Little Angels Phonix Reading Level 2 For Dreamers Tuba, Lesson number what? Lesson number 7 Page number 31 31, yeah So let's read it Ot, 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 pot. Pot, pot. Pot, pot. This one is number one. Pot, pot. Uh huh. Pot, hot. Pot, hot. Pot, hot. Pot, hot. Dot. 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 Do you know dot? A small yeah. dot. Yeah. When the sun is shining, the sun goes down and becomes smaller. Hmm. Now the next page. Up, up, up. up, up. Up top. Up top. Up top. Read again. Up up to up top. No, the examples. Up top. Mo up mop. Ha up hop. Ha up pop. Top mop hop pop. Top mop hop pop. So we are done with this lesson too. Oh, I want to read this one. Uh, later, but uh, would you would you tell a, a very nice story? Yeah, I know a story about a little red riding hood with three bears. Mommy, a baby, and a daddy. I will tell the story for... Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is your story? Tell. Uh. Okay guys, if you want to hear it, I hope you enjoy this video. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She has her mom and her mom made for her grandma some cookies. Cookies? Yeah. Okay. And then, her mom say, Little Red Riding Hood, you need to get these cookies to your grandma. Little Red Riding Hood said, Okay, Mom, I will. That time, Little Red Riding Hood go put his put her bow and went off. At that time, when she was going out, she didn't pick some flowers for her grandma too. And her mom also gave her a basket so the cookies were in the basket. She also put the flowers in the basket. And then, the, one day there was a big bad wolf. Guys, did you remember that I tell a story about three little pigs and big bad wolf? That, that's the same. Okay, then I'll tell you in lesson number two. We will slap two times. Okay, guys, listen to the story. Then one day, the big bad wolf came to Little Red Riding Hood. And that time, the wolf said, Hey, little girl, where are you going? The wolf said, I'm going to visit my grandma. And then the wolf said, Can I go too? And the wolf went, he see the basket and said, What's inside that basket? Little Red Riding Hood said, there's some cookies. You want some? The wolf said, Can I have one piece, please? Little Red Riding Hood thought that these were these her grandma, so she forgot it and put one piece to the wolf. But the wolf was very evil, and Little Red Riding Hood began to leave. And then the wolf just swallowed. The wolf hurried up and go to her grandma's house and just wrapped her mouth with tape and put her in the closet. And then the wolf dressed up like her mom, like her grandma. And then Little Red Riding Hood approached her grandma. And when she see her grandma had big ears and said, Grandma, why do you have big ears? And the wolf say to him, Luke, because I have, because I can hear you. And when, when the, when the little ready, ready could see that her grandma's nose was really long, and he also say, Grandma, why are your nose really, really long? And 
the rough wolf stays squeakly because I can smell you. And when Little Red Riding Hood sees that the wolf has long teeth and said, Grandma, why do you have long, 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 long teeth? And the wolf said, Because I can eat you! And then Little Red Riding knows that it was the wolf, but he was evil. So she began to say, There was a witch hunter there and he hear Little Red Riding Hood's voice and he began to run, run, run fast as he could and found Little Red Riding Hood and began to charm the wolf. And then, and then the woodcutter hear Little Riding Hood's voice and just noticed that a little girl was in danger, so he began to run, 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 run as fast as he could. And then he finally reached Little Red Riding Hood's grandma's house. And then he saw that a big bad wolf was trying to eat her. But the wolf, the wolf began to eat her. But the woodcutter just threw his axe to the wolf's neck, and the wolf began to die. And the little Red Riding Hood noticed her grandma's voice was coming from the closet. And he began to open it and then her grandma said, Thank you, baby. And the little Red Riding Hood said, No problem. You're my best grandma in the whole world. And when her grandma see there was biscuits in the basket, he began to love her and they lived happily ever after. But what happened to the wolf? Uh oh. And then the wolf, the woodcutter was just chomping the wolf and put him to a bowl and just eating him. <laughs> and then Little Red Riding Hood and her grandma and her mommy lived happily ever after. But that woodcutter was his grandpa. So we. And then. She began to get one cookie in her hand and began to run to, to the woodcutter. And then said, thank you, young man. I give you a biscuit for all this work. And then that, that woodcutter said, you're welcome, but I am your grandpa. Then she thought that she couldn't give any biscuit to his grandpa, but his grandpa saved her. And then... His grandpa began to bring wolf meat from the wolf to Little Red Riding Hood. And then Little Red Riding Hood bring his grandpa to the house and then just the safe and some eat the biscuits with all the family and they live happily ever after the end. The moral of the story, when there is a big stranger, you must run, run away as you fast as you can, but if the man, if that wolf or any scary creatures come eat you, you better say, help me, anybody, save me. You better say that talk the end. That's, that's the story. Bye bye. Okay? <laughs> hey. Hey, get the money, Okay.